Hi guys, so this is a uh, part two of the tutorial for Team Millionaire class. So in this class, I will try to fit a more challenging function, and this is a function I try to fit. So this will be a four variable and just three parameters. Okay, so it's uh, actually four dimension and. And its value is a kind of a, well, I don't know how to say that. It's a x0 times some, uh, some constant, sorry, some linear term slopes, and x1 times x2, m times x3. Okay, so this is function, uh, this is function we try to model for our data here. And this is the part for generate data here. Okay, so, I the answer is uh the answer to the fit is this 0.5 for the first one 0.6 for the second one 0.7 for the third one okay so uh let's start from the this uh very beginning here now you got some idea from previous uh, tutorial per part one. So it's a very similar, the structure is exactly the same. So create some data, then create a virtual picture. Uh, this uh, uh, is still the same. Uh, it's a millet here. And set parameter, then set chi-square, then you do the fit, start a fit, then you get a fit result. That's very similar. The only thing different is the chi-square here and the set parameter a little bit different here. Okay, so I will spend most of the time on the uh, chi-square function here. Alright, and let's take a look here. So, uh, the chi-square again, I said before, has certain form uh, formats here. Uh, you just copy this line, don't change that. And in the end, you update your uh, f value, uh, final value, to your calculated chi-square here. This is a chi-square. I declare initially in zero, then go through a loop to all the data point, accumulate the chi-square, then assign to the f here. So the data have to be assessed globally. So in this case, I use uh, um, and a pointer from the bin data class to help me to organize the data because the higher dimension is really uh, tedious if you still use an array. <laughs> okay, then you you will, you will find it's very handy later. So this is a full dimension, and I try to just use a, a 50 data point. Of course, you can use higher, and now I just for demonstration use 50. Okay. So hide this part for you. So okay, uh, thing let's go back here. All right. So I um, already set up some data uh, using the add method to put to put the data put the one row of data into the uh, data. That's from the pointer to the bin data class. Pretty multiple. You know what I mean, right? Okay. So this is uh, we already generated data here. So now we just need to access the data and loop it and to see what's the calculated one and to see what uh, different between uh, the value in our data. Okay. So the calculated one would be the coordinate and that's uh, from the our data here, right? We just put some coordinate here. This is x0, s1, s2, and up to s3. We just retrieve uh, data here and just put it here. Use the get point. Okay. Um, this value is this value here. The value we calculate through the function and plus some random uh, noise here. Okay. So actually, this part just uh, retrieve the data. Okay, so we have a coordinate, so we put here and do the calculation. You get the v cal, the the value from calculated, and this uh, the value is uh, the very or, or original value. This is a data point, and this is a calculated value. So the chi square, yeah, you 
uh, you you take a difference and multiply them together, you get a chi square. Okay, so we're not so difficult, right? Very easy to use actually. Then you get a chi square. You put your chi square function into set function, set fcn function. Then you set the initial condition for your three parameters here because your uh, function, um, my function, okay, <laughs> really multiple, okay, uh, have three parameters, okay, all right, so you set this part, only thing you need to do is change this part, and you are ready to go, you, I don't want to print it, and I just set the tolerance to the uh, 1 t 10 to the power of uh, 6, uh, five, uh, 10 to the power of uh, six, 6, yes. Okay, and then start the fitting and get a result and print it out here. The syntax you probably don't need to change. Okay, so let's just run it. Part 2, let's see what it looks like. So, uh, this is uh, our fit result here. It prints from here. Uh, first parameter is a loop. Uh, print the first parameter, second parameter, and this arrow, something like this. And it got 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Let's see, is similar? Uh, well, it's, this answer is here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So let's just do some funny thing. Let's create more data point. Let's see what is different. Yeah, it's uh, still very similar. Okay. Um, well, I would say the chi square. Uh, this is a point point L A. Yes, yeah, a little bit increase. Okay, it do change. All right. So I think. Now you probably understand how to use this class, and I hope you can enjoy that. I will see you soon.